Introduction to Pattern Drafting Provisional Specification Let us look at what are the requirements that needs to be satisfied while drafting a provisional specification. We had already seen some of the requirements, so there could be some repetition in what we are going to say now. Let us look at some of the best practices. The provisional specification, the invention is described in writing. Now the provisional is filed when the invention has reached a stage where it can be disclosed on paper, but nevertheless it is not the final outcome in the sense that a provisional is filed when the inventor feels that the claims are not ready. Th though the invention may be ready, it may not be a time where he can sit and draft the claim. The details of the claims have not come or he wants to preserve the priority. So when the invention has reached the stage where it can be disclosed in writing, that is the point at which the provisional is usually filed. It is filed early so that it secures the priority of the invention. The provisional is a time bound document. If you file a provisional, you have to file a complete within 12 months. You could post date a provisional, but you would lose priority if you post date it, which can happen within 12 months. Now, one of the things that you could do with the provisional is you can file a provisional and if you do not follow it up with complete, then the provisional is deemed to have been abandoned. The advantage of something being abandoned is that it is not published. So, it does not come into the public domain. But when you abandon, you cannot claim the priority of that provisional anymore. The provisional is as though you had withdrawn it from the system. A copy does not exist for people who want to get a copy. It is not published. So, when it is not published, the matter does not fall into the public domain, but the person who gives up a provisional specification will also give up the priority. Now, provisionals, you could file multiple provisionals and we had uh, seen this in section 9. You could file multiple provisionals and follow it up by one complete specification. If the applications are cognate or they are one is a modification of the other. So, if there are related applications, you could file multiple provisionals and follow it up with one complete provided the complete is filed within 12 months of the first application. You could also downgrade a complete specification, what is referred to as a perpetrated complete under section 9 into a provisional and we had seen this in section 9. So, form and type. Form 2 is used, it is a common form for provisional and complete. You can include as much detail as possible. Now, there are two types of provisional. One is a provisional that is filed directly as a provisional. The second is a provisional which is converted from a complete specification, a downgraded complete specification or a perpetrated complete which gets downgraded into a provisional. So, there are two types of provisionals. Now, what are the things that needs to be avoided while drafting provisionals? Provisionals should not look like a rough draft. The disclosure is critical because later on when you file a claim, it is this disclosure that is going to perform the function of fair basis. The fair basis of the claim which you file along with the complete will have to come from the matter that is disclosed in the provisional. So, the disclosure is critical because to claim priority, this disclosure should be enough to claim, to draft a claim which can be fairly based on this. It should not be a skeleton of the complete because you find that section 10 states that shall describe the invention, begin with the title sufficiently indicating the subject matter. So, it has to describe the invention. Now, there is no provisional for divisional PCT and convention application because you cannot file a divisional a PCT application that is an application under the patent cooperation treaty or a convention application under section 135. You cannot file these applications by through by way of a provisional. All these applications require you to file a complete. Now, 
contents there is a title to the provisional there is a description and description starts with the preamble the following specification describes the invention claims are not needed and we had seen in form 2 claims need not be mentioned for provisionals some drafting tips the title should be less than 15 words description there can be various headings for the descriptions the field of invention background of invention object of invention statement of invention 